All right, guys, I'm going to show you a quick and dirty exhaust header or header wrap. Um, there's definitely a right way to do it, and we're going to ignore most of that and just get it done. So first thing, you definitely want to wear gloves for this. This is a fiberglass exhaust wrap, and uh, it'll definitely make you itch. So what I've done so far is just wrapped these two. I'll show you how I did these and then we'll continue the rest of this tube, probably wrap to about here, wrap all three of these and then connect them all and do the rest of the collector. Um, but these are just temporary zip ties to hold everything tight for now. So this is our exhaust wrap and out of the box, it's really stiff not very easy to work with. What we're gonna do is go run this under the hose. Uh, that's gonna soften this up and make it a lot easier to work with. And we're gonna be able to pull it super tight and make sure we get some nice wraps. And you can see right away it's already softened up and this doesn't have to be soaked all the way through, just damp is good enough, so. Now that we've got this softened up a little bit, we're gonna grab our header. And if you look at this, this has a stitch, a seam, I guess, that goes along one side. And that's the part you want to overlap the rest of your loops. So I guess on the top. And I'm gonna start this by trimming up this end a little bit. And folding this over so it's a nice clean edge. And then just to get started, we'll fold it over like that and make sure we get a good loop. Now, some people will measure this out and then trim it so you aren't working with all this excess. I always cut it way too short and uh, then I have basically useless pieces. So um, do with that information what you will. It's probably me just bad at math. All right, so now we've got our first loop where it overlapped done and we're going over the second one. And now we can start really yanking on it and pulling it tight and that should hold in place. And we're going for about a quarter inch of overlap. And we're just gonna continue this all the way down the tube. So this was about a 50 foot roll. Um, that should be enough to do a full set of headers on a V8. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So you can just keep holding at one point and it shouldn't slip too much and just keep passing this around, pull tight, bring it up. All right, so I just finished wrapping this and I am right to where this other part ends. Well, I guess it wraps around right there. What I think I'm going to do, because this will pinch really tightly around this bend, I'm gonna cut it off about here and cut the zip tie and then wrap all three of these together from this point on. So we're just gonna snip the zip tie with these scissors. Yes, very good. And I'm holding this roll here, so I'll be able to pull this tight and then wrap those together, but keeping this one at least a little taut is gonna make my life a little easier. And I'll deal with that zip tie in a second. But let's go ahead and trim this guy. And hold that tight, pull the other side tight and make sure that's tightened down in place and that the end is Fold it over so you can't really see it. I guess we could probably do better than that, but that's okay. 
We're basically just wrapping this to cover up all my really bad welds. So. Alrighty. Okay, I think we'll do one more wrap and then grab that other side. Okay. And then just like the other one, we've got a pretty good overlap here. So I will cut this zip tie. Perfect. Okay, and got a fair bit of excess there. So if I put the seam on this bottom edge here, then when I bring this other one around, it'll definitely keep tension on this. So I will go ahead and cut it. We'll fold that corner under and then yeah. Questionable gap there, but it's fine. Totally fine by me. Okay. And I think. Oh, that looks pretty okay to me. So now it's just like for the other ones to hold it in place, we're going to zip tie it. And we're actually going to end up locking this end down with metal zip ties. And I'll show you that in just a sec here. So these are the metal zip ties. And hopefully yours come with a tool like this. Uh, it just goes on a quarter inch drive ratchet and this is gonna help you tighten them down. So what we're gonna do, oh God. Oh God. since we're wrapping around the collector, we're gonna need the long ones. This pack came with, I think five of the long ones and nine of the little ones, but we don't need those. So what we're gonna do, is we have this zip tie holding this tight here. So I'm gonna pick a side of it and keeping in mind where this tab and the excess is going to be, I kind of want it on the bottom so it's not super visible. Slide that through like a regular zip tie-ish. And we're gonna swing it over to the bottom. All right, so now that we've got that zip tie started, we can get this out of the way, clean up the end. And then to get a nice clean edge here, we're going to fold this over like so. And then slide our zip tie back over top. And I'm gonna be using two zip ties, so I don't want this exactly centered. And I use these things the wrong way forever. You wanna take and you just slide the slot over this end here. And then you pull or you twist away from that thing and that's gonna tighten it down. And you can slide this up to get a little bit more on it. And you can't go too tight with these because it will break. So, yeah, that's not going anywhere. And let's put our second one on. And same drill on this guy. Those are both pretty tight. I don't think that's going anywhere. Now, if you've got a good pair of cutters or something like that, that'll probably get through these, but they're kind of a pain. So I like to take just a Dremel and real quick, This Johnny.
Bam, there we go. Quick and dirty exhaust wrap. So let's throw this in. So I'm sure you guys noticed when we were wrapping this that it had some pretty gnarly welds on it. Um, this was a header Brian had originally bought um, and didn't end up fitting. And it also didn't fit on this car. But using a 3D printer, we were able to print out a bunch of these inch and a half diameter, which is the same diameter as this tubing. And it's just a bunch of bends and they all snap together like so. And then you can figure out the bend angles and the pieces you'll need to fabricate something like this, a header or an exhaust system. These are called header modeling blocks. They sell them as kits, um, but they're really expensive. Uh, I'm sure they're super nice, but this was good enough to follow some of these bends and I was able to order, I think I only had to order two U-bends. One was a two inch radius bend and then the other one was a three inch, I think. And I, from those, I was able to cut all the bends I needed to make this fit. So if you want to do something like this yourself, uh, we'll leave a link for these in the description. Check it out. When you start this up, the exhaust wrap will smoke a lot, um, but it should go away. If you like the video, like the video. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you on the next one.